There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get my tuner up here. And we're going to practice uh, the D major scale in an octave and a half. We're going to go all the way up to A, all the way down to A. Let's give it a try. And go nice and slow. Ready? Go. Try the arpeggio. Okay, now let's do all of that again a little bit quicker, hopefully, if it's still in tune, okay? Like this. Ready, two, three, go. Is it good? Everybody warm in the key of D? Good. Now. A tempo. Think that'll work? Let's do it. I'm going to give you a big count in. We'll do it a couple times. See who survives. One, two, three.
that work out? Yeah, it was quick. I was trying to keep it moderate, but <laughs> have a groove. How did you do? Were you in and out? Some of it. Some was good. Okay, that's good. Um, huh? Yeah. yeah sometimes I kind of forgot there was another page, but but once I figured that out, it was better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a pain in the ass, that one there. How about you, Rick? How'd you do? I have that. So, still trying to incorporate the roles. I'm not, I haven't got a lot of them in. Um, the, the first, the first role in the, in the, in the first and second part is not yep. too bad. Yep. And I've got the role in, and I think it's the third, the third part, the role in on the Y role. Yeah. The, uh, uh, yeah, the F, I should say, actually. It's an F role. F role, yeah. Um, and so I'm just trying to incorporate them where it's easy. Because I'm, I must admit, Doing the role with the baby finger is harder for me. Oh, it's it's harder for everybody. Now, yeah. the, in Ireland, they leave that till the till the very end. They 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 consider that to be the hardest one. Um, I find that it's pretty hard. Uh, and what I do to battle it is I lean in towards the role. See that? Okay. So I pick up my first finger, and I leave my two and my three down, and I, I lean in. Mm -hmm. So that my 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 pinky can kind of tickle that string, and also not only that, I put most of the weight of my hand on my second finger, and then my third finger can be more nimble. If you yeah, have sure. your weight on the third finger, it's really your your third finger hates coming up, eh? It's the one that really hates coming up the most. Yeah, yeah. So I find you're, if not, I really rest my hand, you're not really playing a note with the baby finger; you're just interrupting the. You just that's right, and you want it to be just a very brief chirp, not a note. Well, I've been doing it. One guy suggested just play scales, play an E, then play an F roll. Or no, sorry, play, sorry, play an A, you know, play a B roll, play a C, C sharp roll, then a D roll, and then go to open E. And then just keep doing the scales, playing the rolls back. And after a while, you, you just, it's just an exercise to. Oh, well, I did it that way. This is what I used to do that, because I had to roll, learn rolls later because we don't do them in Cape Breton and I worked in an Irish dancing show and I had to learn how to do them. So I would go to the dressing room every day and do this. That's what I'm trying. It's, it's coming slow. It's coming slow, but it's coming. Yeah. Slow. And when you go slow, the most important thing is to, to get the timing right. Yum diddly dum. Yum diddly dum. Yum diddly dum. If you can do that consistently, won't take long before they're whipping off your fingers pretty quick. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now let's take a look at this. First of all, I'm going to find a good version of Pipe on the Hop. The boy is still sick. He's getting a chest x ray tomorrow. Poor guy. He wasn't well last week. I know, it just won't go away. Okay, now let's see which one. So that's the uh, A minor one. We want. If you, have to, if you go to the session, you have to put in number one. And it comes up. If you just put pipe in the hub, you get number the, in the second version coming up. I don't know why all the time. I have trouble finding it myself. It was the second one that uh, that comes up. Let me just now. Let me see how many versions there are. Twenty-two. Nine. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a good version of it for you. <laughs> nine. Nine settings. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not a difficult song either, really. It's no, it's not not the worst. No, I think number one is the winner. Yeah, number one is the winner. So let me just uh, send this. 
And then I'll play it while you're looking at it. Susan. I've got a copy of it anyway, so it's okay. Oh, okay. I'll just send you the one we're working with as well. Okay. Always good. Pipe on the hob. I love both pipes on the hob. I really, really love. Always did. And my favorite, my favorite one doing it is Patty Keenan. He does the A minor one though. Okay, so now I'm going to play it. Um, while you're looking at it there. So you can get a sense of it. It's not hard at all. phrase is this no that's not, not a lot of repetition with that phrase oh the ending yeah in the first part we play that a lot and then the second part is just this kind of like this idea and then and then the same thing again very similar. See that? And very intuitive too. So let's just see if we can get the bits. We'll do it a couple of bars at a time. Okay, you looking at that, Susan? take this one four bars at a time because it's just different phrase altogether the second line is a different phrase altogether so let's go real slow and play the first four bars a good couple of times okay ready two three go let's do that again ready Two, three, go. Okay, let's do it again. Very simple. Ready, two, three, go. Okay, is that coming along? One more time to be sure. Ready, go. Now, the second half of the first part, and then the same ending. Okay, let's try that. So it's the second line. Scaly downy. Ready, go. See that? What fun. <laughs> let's do it again. Ready? Go. Okay, is that starting to come? One more time to be sure. Ready, scale down. Okay, 
Okay, you know, the only per thing about this version I don't really, really like is the uh, the pickup notes to get back into it again. I, I wouldn't play that F and E. So, it's kind of awkward. I would probably just go... Just an A. I would just play a long D with an A. But that's my thing. Might not be your thing. You know, endings are and pickups are always where people like to change up the music. So whatever works for you there. The, next, the second ending is perfect. Now, let's see if we can stick that together. The first two lines of the two. Okay. One, two, three, go. Take the grinder to it. Let's do it like four times. One, two, three, go! said the the second part oh you know what the second part is a good example of it's a good example of where the melody is kind of already a roll so that's what's written there and if you put a grace note in there see that it's really easy to do so that's just But anyway, let's do it without the roll because the more you do it without the roll, the more it's going to work when you try to put the roll in. That's that's always the way I've done it. So let's do this line. We're going to do this whole third line at just exactly how it's written, and you'll see how the roll fits in. Ready, two, three, go. Let's try that again. See if we can get a rhythm to the arm. Ready, go. One more time. Same thing. Third line. Ready, go. Okay, and then we do the same as the beginning there. And then it's just a bit different. Let's try that. So now we're going to try, yeah, let's just try the whole third, uh, fourth line, which says number one. Okay, ready, 
slow. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I wasn't looking. I was doing it by memory. See? There you go. Let's try to get ready. Go. Up we go. Let's do that again. See if that works. Ready? And go. Okay, one more time. Ready, go. Okay, and then we go back and through the first line again. Now, I think we should try to get this ending, this second ending. It's long F and a long G, and then a bit of a arpeggiated and then scaly bit. Sounds like this. It's just a big scale. That's all that is. So let's give it a try. You can do rolls or just long notes. But it starts with an F. Ready, go. Okay, let's try that again. Ready, go. Do it again, one more time. Ready, and. It's a great ending. Okay, how's everybody doing? Feeling okay, getting most of the notes? Now, let's start at the top of the B part and play with both endings and go right through it, see if we can do it. One, two, three, go. like it went pretty well let's do it again right away ready go shoulders out we're gonna try the whole thing Let's see what happens that's just a great roll combo so that's in bar three E D E screaming out for a roll C B C screaming out for a roll not budget cuts that was terrible news to hear today. 600 jobs lost at CBC. They're eliminating, which is pretty wild, and possibly some programming. They're, like, hugely in debt, like $125 million in debt. CBC, my God. Okay, let's try it. We're going to try it a couple times, just at that speed, no faster. One, two, 
three, go. Thoughts and feelings. I gotta work the rolls in, that's all. Sure, yeah. And the other one, I heard a version of the guy plays, you know that uh, first, I was saying, okay, the, uh, line three? Yeah. The first, the first two bars when he goes, He puts a, an A in there. That's nice. Oh, it sounds nice, eh? There it is. Anyway, I thought it sounded nice in there. Anyway. And I wouldn't do, if I did that, I wouldn't do the roll then. It would be really nice because we end up with a nice side-by-side. Uh, -side, so. uh, see that? Isn't that nice? It sounded nice when I heard a guy do it. That's awesome. Yeah, totally. Yeah, great idea. You did okay, Susan? Okay, slightly faster. What? You've taught a slightly different version before. And I keep, for somebody going, it's it's the first line would be, instead of going up to the E, you go down to a C sharp. Yep, and that's, but both are common, eh? Okay. Yeah, and the, the going up to an E is kind of neat. See that? And I would do it with my pinky. Okay. It's got that little kind of tucky sound. And the other one is uh, the way that I learned it had a long E with the mordant on it. See that? So this goes. But the way I learned it was much simpler. I like the E better. I like the E. I like the E better. Yeah. yeah, I like the E better than this. Than because I thought that was going way like, better. Because some of them was other one you go with. Yeah, that's a that's a that I find that to be like a white person's version. The E, yeah, the that's, e is that's way what I was thinking. Better. I just love that. And then you do the big E roll. It's just perfect in my opinion. Yeah, no, it's it's a pretty tune. Yeah, so let's try it just up a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit faster. See if we can handle it. A couple of times. One, two, three, go.
did that do? It it bore the speeding up. That's fine. That's great. Right on. Now, what's a good one to go with it? Oh, but we were talking about the drunken landlady, and we should because it's very, very good tune to practice. Let's take a look at that. It's in the same key. Okay, just gotta check on the boy. Be right back. Change that to an E. All righty, drunken landlady. Bridget Flynn. <laughs> I wonder if that was the drunken landlady. Now, the first one, session.org, is the best one. So simple. Are you looking at it there, Rick? I can send you the version. I'm looking. It's just the very first one on the session.org. You're still muted, so I can't hear what you're saying. You're doing the lips are moving, but nothing comes out. Thing. That's, 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 usually when I move my mouth, nothing interesting comes out. Like <laughs> <laughs> me. Drunken landlady. Drunken landlady. E minor. Drunken landlady. Drunken landlady. E minor with C sharp. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where's the C sharp? Yeah, like it's the key signature. I'm get confused sometimes because the key signature looks like it's a D. Yeah. Is that the E minor? The oh, sorry. So, so yeah. Okay. Uh, e minor is also the. Okay. E minor, yeah, it just has that C sharp in the ending. It's just a modal tune. It's E mixolydian, I think. But you just go through, look at all the E's, and you know you're an E. Anyway, so let's go slow. And just play through it. Not too slow, like this. One, two, three.
either. How's it going? Is she drunken? Is she giving people free beers? <laughs> All good? Yeah, it's, yeah, I still got to work on the rules, but otherwise, you know. Well, good thing about that is there are lots of opportunities. <laughs> and the, the E roll there, did I talk about an up bow roll last time? No, no. Don't That's worry. what they are. They're up bow rolls. So you play the B on a down bow and the E roll on an up bow. And it feels different than a down bow roll. You kind of do this little finesse of your bow. And I see how I roll my finger over. Okay. Okay. See, so, and, and again, you got four opportunities to do it. Pick one and give it a blast. Okay. Now let's take her a little bit quicker, tiny bit quicker. I only have till eight tonight because I got to go get Sylvia gymnastics. Okay. I have Pat O'Gorman staying at my house right now. <laughs> okay, a little tiny bit faster. Just a little hustle. You won't notice. A one, a two, a one, two, three. He recorded it on a record called Atlantic Fiddles that he was on and my dad was on and Jerry Holland and uh, several others. Is a great uh, Dave McIsaac was on it. Uh, great record. Good collection of. Uh, Do you think those roles, the roles in there, actually allow you to play the tune faster? Oh, big time! They're they're called they're that's what they're for. They're yeah, because I'm thinking, you know, I'm, if I'm playing all the notes and not playing roles, well, except the. The first one, you know, first bar. Some of the other yeah. roles, I, it's hard to get the fingering and move yeah. the bow back, and especially doing cross string stuff, right? So, so the rolls will help you speed it up, right? Absolutely, big time, yeah. Okay, that's how you can get it going real, real quick. So we'll keep working on it. We'll keep it. We'll make it a project. We'll get it up to, I don't know what that was. It was probably about eighty-five, ninety, I would say. So we'll try to we'll try to work it up. Now let me just see, and I'll give you a reference. Yeah, 85. 85 is what we just did. Stately pace. 
So practice it at 85 this week and try a couple of 90s or a couple of 95s. So we're going to try that next time. All right. And we'll work on, uh, what do you call it there? Uh, pipe on the hob. Okay. Take okay. care. We'll hope, see your son's, hope your son's feeling better. Oh, yeah. I hope so, too. We're going to get a chest x-ray tomorrow. So see what's mm -hmm. going on. Thanks, guys. Right. See ya. Take care. Bye.